everyone welcome back to my channel hi hello if you're new here i hope you'll stick around subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss when i upload give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and follow me on social medias like facebook instagram and twitter if you're not already you might want to because i do all of my vape giveaways over there they're not allowed here on youtube i also chat with you guys directly on twitter every day and i post to instagram story all day every day so if you want to get a sneak peek into my life then that's where you would go but let's get right into the video i'm kind of like about doing this video only because there was so much drama surrounding vupu also i hate the name <laughs> <laughs> the company. I think it sounds kind of silly, but there was so much drama, but I've never looked at anything from Vupu. Um, but I feel like everyone is over the drama now. Like even the people that they specifically had drama with seem to be over it. So I'll do this. It's not brand new. This is the drag mini platinum version. I don't even know anything about any Vupu products. I never watched anyone else's video on the drags but they're really popular um so let me just show you what comes in the kit here right on top we have a little envelope full of paperwork we'll go through that in a second we have the mod on top and it looks like i have the red one but before i show you the mod let's show you what comes with it oh my god they have a do not eat packet we have a micro usb to usb cable an extra coil and some extra o-rings in here let's take a peek at this coil it is the n1.1 one three ohm good between 50 and 100 watts performs its best between 70 and 80 watts and it looks to be a mesh coil there is also a min line so it shows you not to go below that with e-liquid to prolong the life of the coil we have the u-force tank and an extra glass tube for that because it comes installed with a bubble glass and this is the t2 so the u-force t2 here's a close-up of the tank at the bottom we do have the 510 connection we have airflow slots on either side that are fully closable and on a stopper at the top we have the drip tip which is removable but it matches the mod so we're gonna leave that on and to fill it you just push back from where it says u-force and you fill in that slot and push it forward to change the coil you just spin off the base and there is the coil and this is the p2 coil so you can just spin the coil out oh my gosh wow it's weird this is a 0.6 ohm and it says it's good between 24 and 28 watts which is a very small range so i'm actually going to use the other coil just thread that into there and attach the tank back on in order to give this plenty of time to wake up i'm going to do it now i'm going to fill it up and i'm filling it up with my flavor cloud kiss this is a strawberry cake batter flavor available in 100 ml bottles it's 70 percent vegetable glycerin 30 percent propylene glycol blend available in 0 3 6 and 12 milligrams nicotine at bonsaivapor.com oh no i made a little mess you can use my code tia20 for 20 percent off my flavor you're welcome bonsaivapor.com right so that is wicking up let me check out this little envelope of paperwork for you guys for all you who are interested in the real nitty-gritty of these kits we've got the warranty card the instruction manual for the u-force t2 and the instruction manual for the drag mini all right so here is the mod and if this is the mini i wonder how big the freaking real one is so on this side it has this pretty design and on this side it has drag in platinum and like i said i've never ever looked at anything vupu so this is all new to me and it's actually really freaking pretty i can see the aesthetic appeal at the top we do have a 510 connection that is centered it doesn't feel spring-loaded like when i tried to push on it but who knows it does have an internal 4400 milliamp hour battery rechargeable it goes from 5 to 117 watts it is 81.5 millimeters tall by 48.5 millimeters wide by 25.5 millimeters in depth and before i forget let me tell you about the tank it is a 28 millimeter diameter and it's 54.45 millimeters tall and it holds five mils of e-liquid with this glass bubble piece anyways back to the drag mini it does have upgradable firmware it has several safety protections which i'm a huge fan of overtime protection over temperature protection output over current protection overcharge protection and low battery protection atomizer short circuit protection and it supports balance 
balanced even charging for the internal battery. Now let's get up close and personal with the menu screen, the fire button, the regulatory buttons, and the micro USB charge port. Here at the bottom, there are some few venting holes here. So five clicks turns it on. Five clicks also turns it off. There it is on, as you can see, Vupu drag. It displays battery life, ohms, voltage, power level and power mode. To change the power mode from wattage or temperature, you just click the fire button three times, and then you can pick stainless steel, nickel or titanium, do stainless steel. And then if you push the power button three times again, you go into fit mode and it has the three options. One, two, three, back to power mode. If you press and hold the plus and minus button down at the same time, you'll enter the function mode, which is wattage, M1 through 5, SN, and that option, which I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's the version of software that you have. And SN stands for serial number. If you press the plus button and the fire button at the same time, you'll enter lock, press and hold again to unlock, fire button and minus button, flip the screen, fire button, minus button, flip the screen back. When in temperature control, it goes from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. Just wanted to give a quick rundown of the screen, even though probably all of you have already seen this and know how to use it, <laughs> but it's brand new to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the tank and I have it set at 69 watts <laughs> and we are going to vape it. It does say new coil, yes or no plus four, yes. And then it automatically switched it to 80 because it has smart recognition, but I'm still gonna take it down to 69 because we don't vape at 80, not normally. Whoa. Oof. We might have to turn it down. <laughs> Clouds, bitch. Oh my gosh, I didn't think 69 was gonna be like a big deal for me. Oh, Tia Tiny Lungs. I have to turn it down, unfortunately. I'll go down to 60. Man, that is like, it's called the U-Force because it forces you to inhale so much vapor. <laughs> Clouds, bitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, okay. Also, it is guzzling that juice down. Yeah, I mean, it puts, it, ch it chucks the clouds. It's pretty. It's not like my personal all day vape because I don't, I like compact things mostly, but I mean, I can see the appeal. I know why there was so much hype around this now. I just try to do O's and I cannot. It's loud. Is it loud for anyone else? Oh my gosh, okay, that is enough. Mm, my flavor is good though. Oh, I didn't even talk about, the tank is new to me. The flavor is okay, like it is good, but I just feel like I would need to run a whole tank of e-liquid through this to really like know the performance of the coil. Again, this is so popular and everyone freaking loves it that I have no doubt that it's a great tank and it's just a great combo. But I mean, I've had my e-liquid sweeter but again, that's mostly on like an RDA. Okay, that's enough. That's enough vapor for one video. You guys can get this at directvapor.com. That's where I got it, D-I-R-V-A-P-O-R.com. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Let's talk about this device, but that's it for the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.